This is Mr. Martin. These are the video notes for Precalculus Honor Action 8.5. We're going to be talking about the binomial theorem. So we talked a little bit about this in class already, uh, but let's take a look at uh, the expansion of x plus y raised to the n. So when we expand this binomial raised to the nth power, our first term is going to be x to the n. Our second term is going to be n times x raised to the n minus 1 times y. And then we've got this generic term in the middle. It's n choose r, x to the n minus r, y to the r. Okay, and this is going to be important for us. This is our generic term. And you may want to think of it kind of like a formula to find some random term in a binomial expansion. Okay, and then we continue on and we see that the last two terms of this expansion are n times x times y to the n minus 1 plus y to the n. And we looked at some patterns for uh, expanding binomials in class. We looked at some patterns with the coefficients and then we looked at some patterns for the exponents. Um, we also looked at uh, n choose r, and again, you can use your calculator to figure this out if you want to. Um, it, you're just going to go to the math and the probability menu to figure that out. Again, we just have two different representations for n choose r. And then we looked at the expansion of x plus 4 in class, and when we expanded this, we got x to the 4th plus 2x cubed y. I'm sorry, plus 4, 4 x cubed y, plus 6 x squared y squared, plus 4 x y cubed, and then plus y to the fourth. And then we notice a pattern in the exponents. The x exponents go from 4, 3, 2, 1, and down to 0. And our y exponents went from 0 to 1, 2, 3, and up to 4. And we looked at our coefficients here. We had the coefficients 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, which ended up being uh, the fifth row of our Pascal's triangle. Fifth row of Pascal's triangle. So another way we can look at these coefficients as well, which is going to be more useful for us if we are raising it to a power higher than maybe 5 or 6, <coughs> is that these exponents here, this exponent is really 4 choose 0, that's 1, and x to the 4th. And this one is going to be 4 choose 1, x cubed y. And then we would have 4 choose 2, x squared, y squared, and then 4 choose 3, x, y cubed, and then again 4 choose 4 is 1, and that would be x to the 0, and then y to the 4th. So we have a couple of different ways to generate the coefficients for our polynomial and we want to use the one that's more convenient for us. So again, if we're going up to maybe raising it to the fourth or fifth, maybe the sixth, you could write out your Pascal's triangle. Chances are you're not going to memorize up to the fifth or sixth row. Or we can use our combinations to figure out what our coefficients are. And we'll use both methods as we go through the section. Okay, and then when we're looking at the value of r in our n choose r. I'm going to give you a little note here to keep in mind, and I'll remind you of this later. This is going to become important. The value of r at any particular term is 1 less 
than the term number. Okay, so in this case we've got terms 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the fourth term. The value of r in this case is going to be 3. Okay, that's my y to the third. All right. So the binomial theorem can give you specific coefficients to specific terms, and we will look at that as well. So let's use the binomial theorem, and let's expand x plus 2 raised to the third. Again, we could use uh, Pascal's triangle to generate the coefficients, but let's get a little practice using the binomial theorem. <coughs> so we have n is equal to 3, so we're going to be choosing from 3. So the first uh, coefficient is going to be 3 choose 0, which is going to be 1. And then we're going to have x to the n, which is 3, and then y to the n minus r, which is going to be 0. Let me just correct where these exponents are coming from. The 3 is going to be our n minus r, so it's 3 minus 0 because we're on the first term, so r is going to be 0. And then it's going to be y to the r. Again, r is 1 less than the term we're on. Since we're on the first term, r is going to be 0. Okay, plus 3 choose 1. And then once we get our first one here, really the exponents are just going to uh, decrease for my x coefficient and increase for my y uh, for my y term here so we're going to have x to the second increase my exponent of y so y to the first and then 3 choose 2 decrease the x exponent by 1 so x to the first y to the second and then 3 choose 3 x to the 0 y to the third. Again, our exponents for x are decreasing down to 0, and our exponents for y are increasing from 0 up to 3, our value of n. All right, and then these values here, you can use your calculator again to, cal to figure those out. So 3 choose 0 is 1, so that's 1 times x cubed times 1, just showing all the steps for this first example, but you don't necessarily have to show all these ones. And then plus 3 choose 1, which is 3, and then x to the second, y to the first. 3 choose 2 is also 3, so that's 3 times x to the first, y to the second. And then plus 3 choose 3 is 1 again. 1 times x to the 0 is 1 times y cubed. Okay, so if we go ahead and simplify that, we're going to get x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Now, in this case, we don't have y, but we have 2. So in my last step, I'm going to go ahead and substitute 2 for all of my y's. So I would have x cubed plus 3x squared times 2. We'll simplify that. Plus 3x and then 2 squared plus 2 cubed. All right, and then one more time simplifying through. I'm going to get x cubed plus 6x squared so 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 12x and then 2 cubed is 8. Alright so as you start going through these on your own instead of having these values for y in here or some other variable really you could just put 2 in in this step and then you'll be able to skip some of this and get down to your final answer a little bit more quickly. Okay, so go ahead and uh, pause the video and uh, give this one a try. Be careful because we don't have x anymore, we've got 2x. So when you start substituting in for that 
x spot, you want to make sure you put 2x, and for the y spot, you want to make sure you put negative 4. And then we'll talk about this in class when we get there. Uh, and then go ahead and just restart the video when you're ready to uh, continue with the notes. So for example 2, we just want to find a specific term of the expansion of the binomial a plus 2b raised to the 8th. We want the fifth term. Okay, so we know that n is equal to 8. Since I want the fifth term, I know that r is going to be 1 less than the term that I'm on, so I know that r is going to be 4. And then our formula for finding any term is going to be n choose r, x to the n minus r, y to the r, and then we just have to s substitute in the values that we have in this problem. So my n is 8, my r is 4, so I have 8 choose 4. And then instead of x, I've got a, so I've got a raised to the 8 minus 4. Again, I'm just showing all the steps, but you can skip that 8 minus 4 up there and just put 4 if you like. And then my y is really 2b, so it's going to be 2b raised to the r, which is 4. So I've got 8 choose 4, which is going to be 70, and then times a to the 4th times, so I have 2 to the 4th, which is 16, and then b to the 4th. Alright, and then just combining some things here, 70 times 16, it's 1,120, a to the 4th, b to the 4th. So, again, pause the video anytime you have a question and write it down on the side there so you can ask me when you see me in class. And once again, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can work out this next problem. And once you do that, uh, go ahead and restart it and continue on with the uh, notes. And I am going to... Uh, continue on to the last example here. We want to find the coefficient of the term a to the fifth, b to the sixth. So again, our general formula here is uh, n choose r, x to the n minus r, y to the r. Okay, and we know that n is 11, and we know r is the exponent here, so r is going to be 6. Okay, so we're going to have 11 choose 6, and then our x is really an a here, and it's really 2a, so we're going to have 2a raised to the n minus r, so that's 5, 11 minus 6, which is 5, and then my r is negative 5b, so negative 5b raised to the r, which is the 6. So the problem here is just asking for the coefficient. So really I can disregard anything with a variable. So what this means is the coefficient is going to equal 11 choose 6, which is 462. That's my 11 choose 6, times 2 to the 5th from this part, and then times negative 5 to the 6th. And when you go ahead and calculate that, you're going to get 231 million. Okay, so um, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, you can go ahead and uh, watch the next video on the remainder of the notes. We've got one more page of notes to go through. And again, if you have any questions, make sure that you write them down and ask me the next time you see me in class.